Hi, my name is Galen George and I'm an application scientist here at Felix Instruments. Today I'd like to demonstrate to you the Felix Instruments F751 Avocado Quality Meter. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Simply by clicking the green power button and waiting a few seconds, the instrument will power on and immediately you will see a screen that says ready. At this point, you can go ahead and immediately take a scan. It's that easy. While you're waiting for your scan, the screen will read measuring, followed by processing, and then you will have a dry matter reading on your screen in under 12 seconds. Now, before I get further into the instrument, I would like to explain where I scanned on the avocado. We scan at the largest part of the equator on the dorsal side, or the largest side near the stem, so that we get the lowest dry matter reading that we can. That's because this part of the fruit matures the slowest. Now, when you put the fruit on the actual scanner, the lens on the top, you wanna make sure that it's covering as much of that lens as completely as possible. This is to avoid any extraneous light escaping. Once you've taken your measurement and your screen reads your result, you'll notice that there are other identifiers on the screen. On the bottom left will be your date and your time, and on the bottom right will be your GPS. On the top left, across, running across the entirety of the top of the screen, will be your organizational tree. So this tree will have in it however you want to organize your measurements. Here we have a basic plot, followed by plant, followed by singular fruit. In this example, this is fruit one and plot one of plant number one. If you'd like to change that, or if you need to do any adjustments to the measurement, simply click the right arrow to see the options of deleting the measurement, entering a lot manually, selecting a lot from list, or selecting a recently used lot. To go back to your screen with your measurement, you just click the left arrow. And then from here, you can click the left arrow again to navigate backwards in your organizational tree. So this, when you click it once, will give you all of the scan values for fruit number one. As you can see, there are currently two scans of this fruit, the average of which is 24.2% dry matter with a standard, standard deviation of 1.7. So this is useful for if you want to take multiple scans of a singular fruit to increase your accuracy. From here you can scan up and down to see other fruits that have been measured on this plant. So here is fruit 004 with two records and a dry matter of average of 27.3. Simply scroll back up and click the left arrow again to go even farther down, or up I should say, in your organizational tree. Here we are now at the plant level. So for plant number one, there's a total of 24 records. And this is the average dry matter of all the fruit that you scanned on that plant, followed by the standard deviation. Clicking left once more brings you all the way back to the plot level. So on this plot, there are 24 scans that average 25.9% dry matter. To get back to the main menu, simply click the left arrow once more. And from here, you can do things such as browse your measurements. You can select what lot your measurements will be going to, any new measurements that you might take. You can also upload your data wirelessly to Fruit Maps directly from this screen. Or you can go to the system uh, setup, which is the settings. And that is the demonstration for the F751 Avocado Quality Meter. Thank you for watching.